As many as 80,000 New York State residents who are in this country illegally will be able to obtain a New York State driver's license on Saturday. Supporters say the law will make the roads safer and help immigrant families. Opponents say the law benefits terrorists. The green light law was passed earlier this year and signed by Governor Cuomo, making New York the 13th state to offer licenses to undocumented illegals. In New Jersey, a similar bill cleared the Assembly Judiciary Committee by a vote of four to two, and Governor Murphy has said he supports the idea. The measure still needs the approval of the full Assembly and Senate. Under the proposal, driver's license applicants would have to prove they live in New Jersey, but would not have to prove their lawful presence in the country or disclose their immigration status. All right, let's bring in tonight's A-plus panel. We are joined by Bill Caruso, Democratic strategist and attorney. Good to see you, Bill. Hey, Bill. And Jeanette Hoffman, Republican strategist. Great to see you, Jeanette. Thanks, Bill. Jeanette, I'll start with you on this. Um, I don't even know what the right words are anymore. Is it unauthorized? Is it undocumented? It seems like the news is trying to dumb this down to keep people from looking at the root issue, which is people have broken the law, they're here illegally, and a citizen has to go through all kinds of hoops right. to get a license. Now they don't. What do you think? Yeah, well, when you and I go to the DMV, we have to bring all kinds of proof of residency and citizenship. Um, this bill is very problematic in that it raises a lot of safety concerns. Let's face it, this is in violation of federal law and it could lead to human trafficking and it could aid terrorists. So this is why I have very big concerns about this. Bill, one of the other issues that's been brought up repeatedly on this, aside from car insurance and the potential of rates to go up, uh, jobs. You've got people that now can't drive legally, so you've contained those illegal jobs where you've got the potential now of taking jobs away from people in cities around the state. I've got news for both of you. They're doing it already. We, we've had a accidents where people have been injured or even killed because there's been an undoc boy was killed. undocumented driver. A and listen, that may not go away just by licensing these folks, but it can help improve it. And so here's where I am. We failed as a nation in dealing with this immigration crisis. So we're dealing with it in these back-ended ways, state by state, town by town right now. This isn't great policy, but 13 other states have done it. The roads have gotten safer in those states and the economics have improved. This is a self-contained effort. It should be paid for by these folks that are applying for it. It's not the same license that the three of us have. Well, to that point though, taxpayers are gonna to have to subsidize this. And as I understand, the insurance can't be a higher premium for you as an illegal, even though you are a higher risk. So again, where are the insurance companies coming out and saying this is nonsense. It's eventually gonna cost all of us more money. All right, thanks guys.